Nahum or Hebrew Nahum Nahum was a minor prophet whose prophecy is recorded in the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament. His book comes in chronological order between Micah and Habakkuk in the Bible. He wrote about the end of the Assyrian Empire and its capital city, Nineveh, in a vivid poetic style. Topic: <laughs> Life Little is known about Nahum's personal history. His name means, "...comforter", and he was from the town of Alkish Nahum chapter 1 verse 1, which scholars have attempted to identify with several cities, including the modern Alkish in northern Iraq and Kafamaum of northern Galilee. He was a very nationalistic Hebrew, however, and lived amongst the Elkoshites in peace. Nahum, called, "...the Elkoshite", is the seventh in order of the Minor Prophets. Works Nahum's writings could be taken as prophecy or as history. One account suggests that his writings are a prophecy written in about 615 BC, just before the downfall of Assyria, while another account suggests that he wrote this passage as liturgy just after its downfall in 612 BC. The book was introduced in Reformation theologian Calvin's commentary as a complete and finished poem. No one of the minor prophets seems to equal the sublimity, the vehemence and the boldness of Nahum, besides, his prophecy is a complete and finished poem, his exordium is magnificent, and indeed majestic, the preparation for the destruction of Nineveh, and the description of its ruin, and its greatness, are expressed in most vivid colors, and possess admirable perspicuity and fullness. There are indications that an acrostic underlies the present text. Thus 1–2 begins with the first letter of the alphabet, verses 3b in whirlwind with the second letter, b verses 4 with the third, g and so on until from 10 to 16 of the 22 letters have appeared. In places the scheme breaks down, in the process of transmission what was once an alphabetic poem has now been seriously corrupted, rearranged, and supplemented. Nahum, taking words from Moses himself, has shown in a general way what sort of being God is. Calvin argued that Nahum painted God by which his nature must be seen, and, "...it is from that most memorable vision, when God appeared to Moses after the breaking of the tables." Although all three chapters fall below the standards set by the developed Judeo-Christian tradition concerning the nature of God and man's relation with his brother man, it is one of the world's classic rebukes of militarism. All tyrants are doomed. They make enemies of those whom they attack and oppress, they become corrupt, dissolute, drunken, effeminate, they are lulled into false security. Tomb The tomb of Nahum is supposedly inside the synagogue at Alkish, although there are other places outside Iraq which also lay claim to being the original Elkosh, from which Nahum hailed. Alkish was abandoned by its Jewish population in 1948, when they were expelled, and the synagogue that purportedly houses the tomb is now in a poor structural state, to the extent that the tomb itself is in danger of destruction. The tomb underwent basic repairs in 1796. When all Jews were compelled to flee Alkish in 1948, the iron keys to the tomb were handed to an Assyrian man by the name of Sami Jajuhana Few Jews visit the historic site, yet Jajuhana continues to keep the promise he made with his Jewish friends, and looks after the tomb. As of early 2017, the tomb was in significant disrepair and was threatened by the rise of ISIS in Iraq. A team of engineers conducted a survey of the tomb and determined that the tomb was in danger of imminent collapse and might not survive another winter. A team led by the U.S. based 501 non profit, the Alliance for the Restoration of Cultural Heritage. Arch raised the funds necessary to stabilize the site. After raising the necessary funds, Arch partnered with the Prague-based Gemma Art Group, experts in historic preservation and reconstruction to do the immediate stabilization work. Following coordination with local partners, the initial stabilization work was completed in January, 2018. The stabilization work is expected to prevent further deterioration of the structure for between two and three years. With the tomb and its surrounding structure stabilized, Arch is planning on raising the funding necessary to fully restore the site. Two other possible burial sites mentioned in historical accounts are Elkeshi, near Rama in the Galilee, and Elsese in the West Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Liturgical commemoration 
The prophet Nahum is venerated as a saint in Eastern Christianity. On the Eastern Orthodox liturgical calendar, his feast day is December 1st for those churches which follow the traditional Julian calendar, December 1st currently falls on December 14th of the modern Gregorian calendar. He is commemorated with the other minor prophets in the calendar of saints of the Armenian Apostolic Church on July 31st. 